Protesters called for justice in Fairfield this morning. Family and friends of a victim in a deadly car crash early this year say they want the driver in that crash to be held accountable. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has the latest. No justice, no peace. About a dozen people protesting for justice early Saturday morning. The rain didn't keep away family and friends of 15 year old Tommy Porfirio, who was killed in a car accident in Clinton in February. 15 year old Emily Baker and her 12 year old sister Ashlyn were also killed in the crash. We're not going to go down easy. Not going to back down until the unlicensed 17 year old who was behind the wheel that day is behind bars. Timothy Silva appeared before a judge for the first time a few months ago. He was placed on house arrest with conditions. Porfirio's loved ones say it's not enough and Silva hasn't been following the conditions. He's been seen repeatedly out in public. Protesters marched from the Fairfield Police Department to Silva's house, where they held signs and remembered the lives lost. And even months later, it's still fresh in their families' minds. It's been a mother's nightmare. nightmare. And school started without him. And baseball started without him. He's a good boy, and he should still be here with us. He should have been starting his sophomore year with his friends. The justice they're looking for is the maximum sentence for vehicular manslaughter. For a juvenile, that's three years behind bars. But I believe his lawyer is going to try to get probation only, and it's just not acceptable. Silva's scheduled to appear in court in Waterville District Court next month. In Fairfield, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. Jackie says it appeared Silva and his family were not home at the time of the protest. We also reached out to Silva's attorney and have not heard back.